everyone and welcome back to my channel. So if you have a little baby then this might be a video for you because I am collaborating up with Fisher Price in this video to show off their latest baby bouncer. So if you would like to find out more then keep watching. <coughs> So this is the product that I'm reviewing today and yes Fisher Price have sent me this and are sponsoring this video but I promise it's going to be a really fair and honest review. So this is the Fisher Price Kick and Play Musical Bouncer and first impressions from when I opened it this morning is that it's really quite cool and I'm not just saying that I promise. It is a musical bouncer as the name would suggest but it actually has a little bit at the front here where baby's feet go and it's like a little piano so baby can kick their legs and set off the music which is really really good for developing their gross motor skills and their sensory skills as well and obviously baby feels nice and happy and secure in this as well but what I'm going to do now is open it up and we can see what's inside and see how easy it is to assemble. So I've got my trusty scissors with me here <laughs> I'm just going to open this up. First thing that I thought though were the, the box is really really small and dinky so if you wanted to keep it and store this away safely for like future babies then it really doesn't take up too much room. So first things first we have this main bit here which is where the batteries go and you can see this soft pad here which is what activates the music so I'm really excited to see how that works. Oh, I love this. I absolutely love bright and colourful designs. They might not be what all all of us as parents choose for our house but our kids love them and they're only little ones so you might as well embrace it and my family loves animals and this is going to be well loved in this house I think and it's really nice and soft as well. Then we have these main bits here which are all part of the frame and we've got some instructions and just a few screws so hopefully it won't be too difficult to assemble and this is the little toy art so you can see here there's a little rattle and a tambourine and then underneath and on the top as well you can see that there are three different coloured lights so we've got a red, a green and an orange and these light up as baby kicks so that will be so stimulating and it looks really really good fun and it's such good quality but anyway I need to go and get a screwdriver and build this thing. <laughs> So I've got my screwdriver and the instructions and there aren't too many steps it looks like there are eight steps in total so I'm going to try and put this together quickly now and then we can see what it looks like when it's all made. So I've got my final two screws out of four which isn't bad going really because I hate assembling stuff. So that's the base made and now it's just to attach the seat which doesn't look too tricky at all so let's give this a go. Finally the last thing that I need to do is pop this beauty on, take this little tag off first and that should just, ooh it just slots into place, ah oh, doesn't it look amazing. I'm really pleased with that and here's one I made earlier. <laughs> so that is it all assembled. So all I need to do now is give it a try for a few days and see what Stanley thinks. So it's now been a few days and I really wanted to do a proper proper review. I know that I'm collaborating with Fisher Price in this video but I wanted to really put the Fisher Price kick and play musical bouncer through its tests because you know I have three children and I know what I like in a baby product these days so rather than just tell you what I liked about it and you know show you how it works I wanted to include some clips of how I've used it and what I found with it. Now the biggest thing for me is that I didn't actually realise how much Stanley was ready for a bit of stimulation and action and entertainment. He is six weeks old today and he has been loving this like a lot more than I actually gave him credit for. I thought that it would be a really really safe and comfortable place for him to sit while we were doing other things and just to keep him safe and occupied but he is so so enraptured by it. One of the biggest things I've noticed and it shows that his developmental cues are coming along really nicely is that he sits and stares for ages and tries to concentrate on these hanging toys here and you can see his little arms try and go to hit them. Now at six weeks old admittedly 
he's still a little bit little to be able to reach them properly on his own so sometimes we can help him stretch his arm to touch them and the delight on his face is absolutely adorable but I'm really excited because I feel like as he grows he's going to get more and more use out of this chair so at the moment he's safe and he's comfortable and he's easily amused by it but as he gets bigger I think it's going to be a great source of fun for him one thing I really really liked as a mum is being able to get ready in the morning and showering and getting dressed to do my makeup and this has helped me so much and I think as a parent you need those things to help you feel good about yourself as well like you underestimate how useful products like this can be previously I'd been sort of running back and forth out the shower to make sure that he was okay while he was in his little cot and I'd have the monitor on and stuff but he's still so little that I didn't really feel like that was safe and I couldn't really hear as well and um, if you don't know I have hearing aids and I have to take them out in the shower so not being able to see him made me feel a little bit anxious and my other two children are nearly six and my daughter's just turned two they can occupy themselves they come in the bathroom see how I am they stay upstairs I can hear them playing because they're very very noisy but with the little newborn I didn't really want to leave him unattended so this has been a godsend and because it's so light and it's not huge either which is another plus because we don't have tons and tons of space in our house and the bigger the product the more garish it is and the more in the way it gets the less likely I am to appreciate it as a parent I've got to be honest but this is a perfect size and because it is so lightweight I can easily carry it up and down and from room to room so if I want to put it in the bathroom I can do then I can bring it in here and strap a minute in here and it's not too heavy I can get up and down the stairs with it as well so if you are immediately postpartum or say you've had a c-section or something like that is really really easy to carry and I normally just pick it up like this and it's just good to go. I also like the fact that it has a three point harness here which keeps him nice and secure. He does have a big sister like I said and she sometimes thinks he's like this amazing interactive toy dolly that she can be a little bit guilty of trying to pick him up and take him around with her which obviously we have to stop because he's so little but this does keep him nice and secure and what I've noticed is that it enables his siblings the older two to interact with him a bit more without him being on our laps or them having to be all propped up with cushions so they can hold him they can sit and play and they've been showing him how the toys work and it's actually been really really lovely to see them bond and I didn't expect that <laughs> with this bounce we also had some really really good weather at the weekend and it was Daisy Stanley's big sister's second birthday so we were able to bring this outside and pop him in the shade in the garden so he was having a lot more fun because he could actually see us and see what was going on in the garden rather than being in the carry cot of his push chair and not really being able able to see much so he really really enjoyed that and we enjoyed being able to have him like as a bigger part of the celebrations if that makes sense so from a practical perspective what I really like is that you can easily remove the toy bar so if you were going traveling for example then that would make it fit into the car a little bit more easily and you can also remove the cover and it's washable one thing it doesn't do is that it doesn't lie flat so you would have to like take it apart to store it elsewhere but as I've said before it's not like it's a massive massive bouncer and it's really pleasant looking I love the grey and white chevron print I love the bright colours that Stanley's going to really enjoy you've got the multiple settings with the controls which is really useful so in terms of the controls we've got an off then an on with quieter volume level there and then an on with a louder volume level and then here we have two different options to control the kind of music and interaction that the bouncer provides so the single note has a short play mode and when baby kicks the piano keys you'll hear the key and then you'll hear a little jingle so baby learns very quickly that if they keep kicking they're going to get more jingles and more noises and the lights are going to flash and then it becomes really interactive and I really like that aspect of it. Then with the two musical notes here that signifies long play so you hit the key and you hear a note and then it will play 15 minutes of music so this is handy for smaller babies like Stanley because obviously he's not kicking around too much yet and his feet aren't as powerful and then this button here is the vibrate button so you press that 
and the seat vibrates which is a nice comfort for baby and Stanley really really seems to like that and it's also just really really good quality it's well made it's not flimsy in any way and I really think it's worth the money I'm I quite happily pay what it costs to have this in our house and use it and I'm so so chuffed that we've had the chance to try it out so hopefully that gives you a good insight to what the Fisher Price kick and play musical banter is like if you would like to know any more information I will leave links down below so you can check out where to buy it from or find out more and read other reviews which are all really really good by the way and if you have any questions for me on you know any of the aspects of the banter just let me know in the comments down below and I will be happy to answer them but thank you so much to Fisher Pie for working with me on this video and I will see you all next time bye